guys, that was it. September just ended and autumn just begun. For those of you who love these uh, favorites videos, I'm so sorry that I didn't make one last month. Um, I can't remember why, but I guess I was busy or something. Um, at least I'm sorry and today I'm here to give you a, a new favorites video. So things happened in September, not a lot actually. Maybe um, sometimes I feel like I should be writing a diary because I can't remember what is going on in my life sometimes. It's quite embarrassing. So looking back on September, the most important things that have happened to me is that I have made my new portfolio and I should go get my computer because I actually want to like to show it to you. So That was just a sneak peek of it. Um, but besides from that, I haven't got any response yet, by the way. I will get that in um, two weeks or something. I think we have to wait for a very long time. Like, it's pretty important because I'm going to find the place that I'm going in for my internship. So it is pretty important to get like the response and stuff. And actually we have to go reply for internships right now. So it's pretty important that I get some feedback soon. But I think it turned out very well. Uh, I kind of like it. I'm just nervous to see what the teachers are going to think about it. Because my portfolio is quite wild compared to um, <laughs> everything else that I've seen from my classmates actually. So um, I'm quite interested to see and hear some response. But besides from that, the only major thing that have happened in September is that I've quitted football. Yeah, it, it is weird, um, but it had to be done because two weekends ago, my old badminton um, coach called me and Actually, he needed me for a match that weekend, but I was just a little bit too late and another girl um, said yes to go to that game. He kind of convinced me to go to practice um, that Monday and I did. And I've just, I've been missing badminton so much. Like, I've been playing badminton since I was six years old, if you don't know. And I've just been missing it, like, so, so much. That is everything I remember from this month. When it comes to movies and shows, I've been watching um, one movie that is worth mentioning. I'll just put in like a picture of it because it has a French name or title, of course, because it's a French movie. But in Danish, it is Bollop's Chaos, which is directly translated to English that it would be Wedding Chaos. Um, but it's a French movie and it is so much fun. I love the French humor. I think. It is just, it's so good and the way they take up like topics, um, like serious topics and make them funny, I just love that. They made another a film, I think one or two years ago, I just put in a picture of the, the cover of that one as well. Because that was just an amazing movie, I saw that one in the movies, uh, the cinema. and. Um, I just really think you should go watch those two if you haven't. They are amazing movies. Um, besides from that, I've just been um, watching the, the X Factor from the UK. I actually don't know if we are a lot behind, but here in Denmark we are still in the auditions. Um, but I think it's kind of fun. Uh, I'm a big X Factor fan. And I can't wait for January to come because then the X Factor in Denmark will start and I just love X Factor. So that is pretty much what I've been watching this month. Then when it comes to food, one of you or some of you wanted me to talk about food in this video. You can see on my personal Instagram, um, elisa.diary. On that account you can see uh, updates throughout my day and stuff, like more personal updates than the other account I have. And um, you can also see some of the things that I like to eat. And I have been so completely mad this month. I've been having so much cheddar. 
I love cheese. Apparently it's something I've grown to love, but I've been eating so much cheddar and also um, red bell pepper. And it's weird because it's something that just not a long time ago I just experienced how amazing uh, the red bell pepper is and now I just can't stop eating it. So I am actually not the kind of person who like to spend a lot of time playing games on my phone but I have found an app that I I need a break from it I think <laughs> first of all it's called episode second of all I think it was made for like very young teenage girls but I don't care <laughs> The point with it, it's kind of like, instead of reading, you know, cartoons, um, magazines and stuff, in this app or in this game, you kind of get to be a part of the, the actions that are going on because you get to like choose what is gonna happen in the story and I, I don't know, it is just, I really like it. I don't even know where I found it, but I somehow downloaded it and started playing it and I really like it. I kind of like it and I know it's so childish but I am kind of like a lot childish on some points and this is one of them apparently so what can I do? When it comes to YouTubers this month the person that I'm going to mention is probably like probably somebody you've heard about before because this girl has like 3.5 million 3.5 million subscribers or something like that and that is Soella 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 and um, I started watching her vlogs just a few days ago actually and I just really like her spirit I think she's such a nice girl she's just a nice person uh, I saw her unboxing a lot of Christmas stuff here in September I just um, I like her I like how like happy and smiling she is and she's just such a nice spirit and such a nice person. So I am now also a Soella fan. Fan number 3.5 blah million. That's me. I'm important. I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm important. I'm important. Makeup that I've enjoyed this month. <laughs> First of all, I want to talk about the lipstick that I'm wearing because I was using that in my last Get Ready With Me video and a lot of you seem to like it and I really do too. I think it's a perfect fall lipstick because it's orange It is, um, and it's just beautiful. So it is this one and it is from e.l.f. So it costs pretty much nothing and for me it costs nothing because I got it from my sister. Most of my makeup I get from my sister whenever she don't want to use it anymore. I'm that kind of a big sister. This is called Captivating and it is just freaking beautiful. I actually had an orange lipstick from um, Kate Moss, I think the line was called. But I used all of it and it is the first time in my entire life that I've used an entire lipstick. Um, so I think orange is just, it's just made for me. So I hope you like it too. Then I have been enjoying my own homemade um, bronzer. I made a video about it, DIY video, I'm going to put in a link below. I've really been enjoying that one, I'm using it on my cheeks today. I really like it, I think it's so beautiful, um, it haven't caused any drama um, to my skin or anything. So it's just nice and natural and homemade and cheap and I like it. And the last thing when it comes to makeup is this concealer from Neil & Shaw. Um, from what I know it is a Danish makeup brand. I don't know if you can get it in Sweden and Norway as well, maybe you can. It is just the best concealer and from what I know, from what I've seen in magazines, I don't read a lot of them anymore, but a few years ago I did read some magazine on the beach <laughs> and uh, this concealer should be the best one. 
at least it was two years ago. But it is just, it's 100% um, natural and that is what I like about it. And it just, it covers, like, it's so good. It just covers everything. I really like this one and I bought a new one this month even though it is crazy expensive. It is, it is one of those things that I, I just need to spend some money on even though I'm so cheap. And actually sometimes you don't need to spend a lot of money like looking good. The next thing I want to talk about is clothing because I decided to check out a website this month and they have some very cheap stuff. I'm gonna put in the direct links to the things I'm gonna show you if you want to check it out. But um, actually the quality is pretty good compared to how cheap it is and I just wanted to show you the pieces that I got and then also tell you like what size you should get because that can be kind of hot sometimes. The first two things because I've just put the vest over this dress is this amazingly cute uh, black dress and with this uh, brown um, vest over it. And yeah, it has fringes down here. It's so cute. It has long sleeves, like just as I like it. And it's just really, really cute. And when it comes to this dress, actually I can't remember what size it is. I ordered everything in, so I'm gonna put in the details below and just let you know that I'm a sized medium. So this one doesn't have a size in it, so I can't just tell you based on looking at it. But I will tell you the sizes that I got everything in below. Um, I only got three things from the website and the last one is this one. And I just think it's so, so beautiful. So this is really nice. Um, I think I ordered this one in a size large. I'll put in the correct information below. I think this was in a size large. And it actually is pretty big, so maybe I would have ordered it in a size medium instead. But it's so cute, I really like it, and I'm so ready for fall, I think. I think um, a lot of you have noticed my phone cover. Uh, this is the new phone cover that I got this month. And uh, a lot of you have been asking me uh, where I got it and stuff, and I've decided that I'm gonna find out where I got it. I can't remember, so I have to go back in some emails and see where I got it. But I've decided that I'm gonna look and give you a link. So actually that was it. Um, that is all of my favorites from this month. Uh, if you really like to see my favorites videos then please leave a thumbs up. If you know any cool apps or YouTubers or anything I should go check out then please comment below. I really like to hear what you think about any of these things. You can also tell me what was the most uh, important or exciting things that happened to you throughout the month. I really like to hear from you guys. So please um, share anything at all with me in the comments below. And please leave a thumbs up if you liked the video. And thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you. Bye.